Andy Barrar, Handy Andy from HandyAndyMedia.com and today I'm doing a review for Best Buy's blog on the Gyrocopter Frost. This is an electric pedal assist e-bike with a one-step folding mechanism for easy storage. Is it any good? Well folks, we're about to find out. So when you buy the Gyrocopter Frost, it comes in a large box so you do have to take it out and uh, this is just part of the unboxing of there, but it's pretty amazing that you can get an electric bike in a box like at that size. There is some minor assembly involved. You do have to put the, the seat in and also the pedals. They go in counterclockwise and the other one goes in clockwise. Took me a while to figure that out. Here it is once it's all assembled. One thing to note is the rear suspension and also front suspension. So it's got dual suspension on the front and back. And we'll talk a little bit about my experiences trying that out uh, just in a little bit. But the next thing that I want to show is, are the controls for using the Gyrocopter Frost. And we'll start from the left-hand side. You have the power button and also three different speeds, 15, 20, and 25. There's the bell. You also have a reflector that's adjustable that you can kind of get into the right place that you want. And also a battery indicator here tells you the life of the battery with the throttle on the side to throttle in case you don't want to use the pedal assist. So all in all, it's a very nice compact bike. If you need to adjust the seat, you just adjust it from right there. There are numbers on there, but when I used it, I had to go way off that number chart. So I don't know if that's just for kids, but uh, I'll, I'll talk about that. A little bit later when I'm doing the actual drive. Here's that one step folding mechanism. You just have to unlatch it. There's a little protecting part right there that kind of holds it in place. So you take that off, unlatch it, and it folds down. Here, I'll go ahead and show you the process. Now, they said it's a one step folding mechanism. It's kind of a two step process, though, because you got to lower down the seat and then you can go ahead and take down the handlebars. And when it collapses, it'll sit on the uh, kickstand and sit nice and low. So it's got a decent size to it. You can put it, you know, for easy storage. To put the handlebars back in, you just gotta latch it on and put that protective kind of latch on top of there and then adjust the seat to your height. Like I said, they had the numbers there, but I'm going way off the numbers to get it to fit me and I'm about 5'9", so about average height for a man. But it's a very fun bike. You know, it looks super small, looks kid-friendly, but an adult like myself can certainly ride it. Now let's talk about holding it because that's a thing. It weighs about 54 pounds, so it's not too heavy for me, but it's really hard to walk around with because you have that pedal on the side. Uh, it, it's not easy to walk forward or back. I don't know if I would be able to get this upstairs uh, it, quite easily. So taking this on transit, probably not the best idea. Now let's talk a little bit about the experience using it. Again, I had to get that seat up even higher to make it comfortable. Uh, when I'm pedaling because I wanted to test the pedal assist and also the throttle as well as along with the suspensions on this kind of quick ride and I'm just doing this uh, so I can show you on camera but I did go around the block and kind of experience everything so here I am trying to really kind of get a feel for that suspension I've definitely experienced better suspension on bikes, but nothing like this, an electric bike at this size. It's kind of a nice addition to have that suspension. So if you have kind of a bumps and cracks on sidewalks, uh, it's going to absorb a lot of that during your ride. The throttle works very well. It only goes 25, which I'm used to about 30, but that's okay. Let's talk about the charging. There is the charging slot just on the side. Once you put the provided charging block and connect it to the gyrocopter frost, couple of things you'll notice. You'll notice that the um, it has a little LED light there. It's hard to see in this light. Let me just try to go closer, but you can see how it's red. It will change to green when it, once it is fully charged. Kind of give you an indication, but again, you do have that on the handlebars itself. So really quick, easy way to charge. It takes about three, four hours. You probably want a dedicated place to charge that in your home. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this review of the Gyrocopter Frost electric foldable e-bike. It's got a very compact look to it. it. looks like a kid's bike, but it can work with adults. also has dual suspension, fenders on the front and back with a light. So it's a great commuter if you need one. I'm Andy Barrar, Handy Andy. Make sure you visit my website, handyandymedia.com. See you again next time.